Hello students, Miss Swanson here, and today we're going to take a look at climatographs. These are also sometimes called climatograms. Now, if you do a Google search for climatographs, you'll find all sorts of pictures. Now, most of these do not reach the standard that I expect from you when you draw your climatograph. So this video is going to show you exactly what I expect so that you can do a good job on your climatographs. So, Really, our only learning goal is to use a climatograph to describe local climate and using the proper procedures, the proper uh, setup for your climatographs. So first of all, when you have a climatograph, there are two uh, data or two sets of data that are plotted. There's temperature and there's precipitation. Temperature is always uh, done as individual data points that are plotted with a line that's connecting the, all the points together. So that's for temperature. Precipitation is always shown as a bar graph. So for each of the different data points, you have a bar that indicates the, the height of that, uh, of that data point. Um, when you write your title, it should indicate the location so we know where it is that this uh, information is actually coming from. Now let's take a look at temperature. You can see that the temperature is on the left axis. So for the y-axis, there's two axes, one on the left, one on the right. The left one is always temperature. You can see that even though we know it's temperature on the left, we're going to write the word temperature. So we have a label and we have Celsius in the brackets, so we know that the units are Celsius. Um, and then you can see that it has the numbers written there. So uh, it goes from minus 10 all the way up to 25, so we need to have those numbers to know what uh, the intervals are on that graph. Also, uh, we know that the line is always temperature, however, we still include a legend that shows that that line indicates temperature. Similarly with precipitation, the right axis is always precipitation. That's the rule, but we still need to write precipitation as an uh, axis label. And we use millimeters for the units. Those need to be included. And then even though we know that the bars indicate precipitation, we're still going to put a legend there that show that bars indicate precipitation. So those are the basic things that I'm looking for. Uh, other than that, it should just be neat. Hopefully you're doing it on a computer. It'll look even better. But those basic things are how to use a climatograph to describe local climate. If you can do that, perfect. If not, please rewatch this video. And if you have questions, ask me in class tomorrow. All right, that's all for now. Bye-bye.